Does a 200-year-old curse hide Oak Island's pirate treasure? For 200 years, treasure hunters and explorers have scoured the infamous Oak Island, convinced that beneath the soil is some of the most valuable treasure on Earth. Everything from 2 million pounds of pirate treasure to priceless jewels hidden by the Maid of Mary Antoinette to the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant hidden by the Knights Templar. More blood and money has been spent trying to find the treasure than has been found there. Yet, there is still no sign of it stopping anytime soon. Even the rich and famous like President Franklin Roosevelt and actor Errol Flynn, John Wayne and Admiral Richard E. Byrd Jr. and even the son of a victim of the Titanic have investigated and searched for the mysterious treasure. With so much money and power being thrown at this legendary treasure for centuries, why hasn't it been found? Maybe there never was any treasure there in the first place. Maybe somebody already found it long ago and quietly crept away without ever telling anyone. This is certainly possible since the stories of the treasure spread primarily by word of mouth for the first 50 years and people went searching for it long before the rumors were widespread. Or maybe there is something darker at work. Let's dig into the Oak Island mystery and this episode of Vivid Crackle. Captain Kidd was one of the most notorious pirates of the 1700s who was eventually executed for piracy. One of his crewmates, who was dying under mysterious circumstances, and I say mysterious because I haven't actually been able to find out any real information on how he died, so we'll just say it was mysterious. Who knows, maybe he was being eaten by a shark when it happened, or attacked by that terrifying bunny from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Anyway, this pirate confessed to some people as the bunny latched on to his neck like the world's cutest barracuda. Between the screams, he said that Captain Kidd had buried over two million pounds worth of treasure on Oak Island. It wasn't until 1795 when a man named Daniel McGinnis was looking for a place to settle and start a farm. Instead, he found an oddly shaped depression in the ground, and the one word that came to his mind that always comes to my mind when I find a weirdly shaped dent in the ground pirates. So he called two of his friends over to search for this treasure and just started digging. And two feet down, they discovered flagstones, which was a pretty strange thing to find on an island. And as they continued to dig, they said the earth was noticeably loose. And this is where the details get a little unclear. Some accounts say they found oak platforms every 10 feet, while others claim they found markings on the side of the earth, and others say both. But the deeper they dug, a type of dread grew over them until they were so overwhelmed by it that they abandoned the dig entirely. This hole was and continues to be referred to as the money pit. Out of that initial dig, began the rumors of a curse on the treasure. According to this curse, the only way to break said curse was for seven people to die in search of it. After the seventh person died, the treasure would be revealed. After McGinnis and his friends abandoned the dig, it wasn't long before other people started showing up to search. The first two didn't find anything aside from some tool markings and some fiber scraps, but instead of convincing people that there was no treasure, it simply reinforced the belief in the curse. The island needed blood, and it got its first taste in 1861 when a group called the Oak Island Association decided that the curse was really only there to convince people to stay away from the treasure that was definitely there. Only fools would believe in the curse. Interestingly, they dug further into the money hole, and as they went, they continued to find more and more oak platforms every 10 feet or so, but no treasure. As they dug deeper and deeper, the treasure claimed its first victim. A mechanical pump exploded and killed one of the workers. After this, the Oak Island Association abandoned the dig, not wanting to feed the treasure its other six sacrifices. Then, in 1897, another Another group of treasure hunters went out, and a treasure hunter named Minard Kayser fell into a giant hole and fell to his death. If you aren't a math person, which I also am not, you may be surprised to hear that this brings our total to two deaths. You're welcome. You can imagine that all this did was feed the fire, and people kept coming and digging. 
And in 1959, a man obsessed with the treasure by the name of Robert Restall spent over $200,000 searching and dug over 200 boreholes. In August, during the dig, Robert went into one of the holes not realizing that he had hit a pocket of natural gas. He passed out and collapsed. When he didn't come out, his son Robert Jr. went in after him and also lost consciousness. Then three of his workers went in to try and rescue them, but only one managed to claw his way out of the hole alive, and the curse claimed yet another four lives, bringing the total to six deaths, which is where it sits to this day. Some believe that is why the treasure still hasn't been found and why treasure hunters have continued to be plagued with dead end after dead end. However, there have been plenty of clues and mysterious artifacts that have been found on the island. Artifacts that simply should not have been on an island in the middle of nowhere. In 1862, 90 feet down, a square cut stone with several layers of charcoal caked onto it was found and it had crude cut letters engraved into it. Not knowing what else to do with the ominous and probably significant stone, the man who found it did the only logical thing you could possibly do with a stone like that and built it into his chimney in his home and then covered it up with the staircase. At that point, you're just asking for the curse to kill you. After the owner died, not by the curse, ironically, the stone was removed and it went on its own epic journey before ending up somehow in a bookbinding store and eventually vanished when the business closed. However, a few people who had seen the stone and made notes took a crack at attempting to decode the words, which they of course translated as the most piratey thing ever, which was 40 feet below, 2 million pounds lie buried. The legends of the Ark of the Covenant and the Holy Grail sprouted up when it was claimed by by researchers that there were several Masonic markings found in the money pit and that the Knights Templar had buried a secret vault full of sacred treasures. Another legend claims that in 1789, an angry mob raided Mary Antoinette's palace. So Mary commanded her maid to take her most precious treasures and flee with them so that the mob couldn't steal them. The maid, of course, did the most logical thing and went to the cursed Oak Island to bury the treasure there because of course she did. Oh, and there's one more legend too. The one that's kind of hilarious, actually. It says that someone took the time to go out to this very specific death island to bury a document that proved that Francis Bacon was the true author of William Shakespeare's works and also the leader of the Rusicrucerians who we ironically talked about in my video on the Georgia Guidestones, which you should definitely check out after this one because it's awesome. Apparently, there are super secret codes in Shakespeare's works and these documents decode it and says something like, guess what chumps, it was me all along, Francis Bacon. That's a direct quote, by the way. The History Channel has had a show called The Curse of Oak Island that has run for nine seasons so far and they found lots of impressive little clues like a Mara Devi copper coin, a 17th century military button, a Knights Templar coin, a treasure chest hinge, a garnet brooch, and all kinds of other impressive artifacts. But I think it's pretty clear that the island is not going to let them find the treasure until someone else dies, which is probably good for the History Channel's bottom line, if you know what I mean. In the meantime, here we are, still wondering what actually happened to that crew member of Captain Kidd who told everyone about the treasure as that bunny from Holy Grail was sawtoothing through his neck meat. Did he decide to throw out the story of the treasure as some kind of evil prank against the officials who had been hunting him? Or was it the truth? Make sure to check out my other videos. I've got some other awesome stories that you will love just as much as this one.